So, good morning from Sri Lanka. Before going around, let me tell you an interesting story that happened with me yesterday. Actually, it's not a story, it's like a, a fraud that always has that um, might happen to you also as a tourist. There is something happened that uh, in front of your hostel, some people would like to stand. No, thank you. Some people would like. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So some people would like stand in front of the street of uh, your hostel and tell you, sorry, sorry, and tell you some stories like, oh, that they work in that hostel. Uh, I will tell you what happened with me yesterday. There was a guy standing on the street and he told me that he works in that hostel, in my hostel. Hello, sir. Good morning. No, no, thank you. I'll think about it. Thank you. And uh, it was actually a festival in, uh, in the Buddhist temple and that he wanted to, uh, to go to that festival and ask me if I want to join him. And actually I have weakness for festivals and I wanted to join. So I thought, yes, why not? And I thought maybe because he works in the hostel, then the thing will be a little bit different. Then we went there and it happened that he's just trying to pick some tourists to take them in a tour and uh, and then to charge them in the end it's like oh sir i made you this tour please pay me this amount of money and this is not the problem the biggest problem is the biggest fraud happened inside the rickshaw itself the tuk-tuk when you took this small car he tell you oh we're too late let's take a small car so we can go fast and he make it stop and return back and then if you are not familiar it was my first day actually and i wasn't familiar with the rates and uh, i made the guy even bargain for me because i couldn't speak the language so he charged me and he charged me it was like very high like you multiply it by by four so yeah actually i will we made a video yesterday and uh, i made this video so you don't have to you have to be careful, especially in uh, Colombo, especially if you are staying in a touristic area. And uh, I guess he ruined my first experience of uh, uh, the Gangaramaya temple. But I will visit this temple again actually to explore it by myself. And yeah, here is the full video of yesterday. What is the name of that festival? The Buddhist. Yes, the name of the festival itself. That is today, uh, three, two days ago, in, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Lord Buddha, the morning day, 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 everything they show. Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's like a prey inside the temple now? Yes. And you go also for prey? Because uh, I have prey also. You pray also? Okay. I come to that. The Lord the Buddha is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like? Buddha, yeah. Is it like a nearby festival? Uh, yeah, in the USA. What country you say? I'm from Egypt. Is Egypt, no? Yes. Egypt uh, is Jesus country, no? Uh, this country, Jesus stayed in uh, in Egypt for several years as a refugee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I heard about it. Yes. Because my wife is uh, Catholic. It's Catholic. Yes. Very mixed family. <laughs> yeah. Are you married? No. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. So you always go to the, you always go to the temple for the prayer? Yes, yes. Okay. You can say nice temple, and there. But anyone can go, even with. Uh, even with shirt like this, it's okay, right? No problem. No problem. Okay. Actually, it's my first day here in uh, in Colombo. It's my first day in Sri Lanka. Uh -huh. Great. Yeah. So now we became friends. Uh -huh. You know Egypt. You know the pyramids and know, all the things. A little bit, I know. You really? Not much. The Prozav Road?
Colombo is very expensive, that's why I'm not staying much yeah, in Colombo. Really? Yeah. So you work in, in, that, in that hotel, right? Yes. Yes, great. But you speak very good English. Thank you. Your English is very good. This is also another temple? Or? Yeah, another temple. Another temple. You've been before Buddhist temple, no? No, I have been in, once in, uh, in Malaysia. In Malaysia? Oh. Yes, in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. My father from Malaysia. What? My father, we are mixed. Your father? Yes. From Malaysia? Malaysia, they came in the second war. Okay. Uh, yes. Malaysia is a very nice place. Yes. But you're basically from uh, you're basically from Colombo or from no, no, uh, out of Colombo. Where? Uh, before the Kandy. Okay. Kandy. Yeah. Beach side, beach side. The beach side. Yes. Okay. What's the time now? Hmm? You know the time? I know the time now? Yes, yes I know the time. It's 8.7. 8? 8.7. Oh, we can go small to school the taxi, you know? Hmm? So it's after uh, 9 o'clock, they don't allow. After 9 o'clock, not allowed? Not allowed, yeah. Okay. You can go small taxi like this. Better. Very easy. Is it still far away? A little bit we have to go. Okay. Now not much people 
people. Very good for you. You can take nice. No much view. Oh, okay. Yeah, very good. Otherwise, very busy. Very noisy. Okay. No, no noisy. problem. Okay. Yeah, very ha much. How long does it take the train from nine to what? Sorry. From nine to what? Nine, they finish. Nine will finish. Yeah, nine will finish. They close. Okay. Temple is very close. So we just arrived to the temple. Okay. You have change money, no? There is no change money. Uh, you don't have change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You will give. Go. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Come here always to pray? Sometimes coming. Sometimes. Sometime. Sometime. But today you came for the festival? Take some photo, no problem. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Welcome. You know this one? Uh, Lord Ganesha. Is Lord Ganesha, yes. But do you worship, they worship also worship yeah. Lord Ganesha here? Yeah. No, I'm taking a video. Oh, okay. So good. Can I go outside? Yeah, sure. So basically, this festival is about uh, when is the son of King Ashoka, yes. Mahendra, came first to Sri Lanka to introduce uh, to introduce Buddhism for the first time, right? Close, no. Mm -hmm. Some people all they you now they pray mm -hmm. and they are going. Yes. Mm -hmm. God bless for your travel. Uh, yeah. yeah. But this is like when when you know, like when he reaches the state of nirvana, right? Yes. Come, my good. Good luck for you. Come. Mm -hmm. What? Good luck. No trouble. I'm grandfather, no? So this food. You believe it? <laughs> I pray, yeah. But, okay. You believe it brings good luck? Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? You make it like a... That's right. Plan? Okay. So where is yours? I have. I, <laughs> right, really? I show you. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait.
Yes. Good luck for you. Good luck. No trouble, no accident, okay? Okay. This is until go home. You can keep this one. No troubling for you. I will keep it because as a gift for this me. one, if you break this one, mm. keep your wallet or your bag. Mm -hmm. Okay? Break, I okay. keep my wallet. Okay. Good so luck. What does it mean? Like, uh, this you is take the, it? Yeah, the key, pray. You take it and pray for pray. Lord the. Pray for you. For Ganesha? Yeah. Yes. You are traveling. <laughs> Good. Hello, sir. How are you? This is a temple. Yeah, yeah. It's a very huge temple. What is the name of that temple? Kalin. Kalin. Hmm? Kalin. Kalin is a temple. You see the Sri Lanka Shapi? Sri Lanka Sapphire. You see? The last step. Second to the diamond. It's all the stones. Yes. So how is the feeling? Good? Yeah, it's good. It's very spiritual. Donated. 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 Donated.
jadi dua blok ya itu kalau kemarin dua blok itu kayak gini Now it's uh, 9 o'clock in the afternoon. After I paid all this money, I wasn't realizing that this is a fraud. I mean, like, yes, I felt that there's something strange. I'm paying extra money. I felt like I'm uh, trapped. But what made it like very obvious is that uh, um, the next day I was sitting in the lobby of the hotel and the manager was telling me, hey, you should be careful, be careful outside, don't trust anyone. Uh, and then while he was talking, he was talking, talking about some people who do a similar trick, uh, like these top locals. He tells him, hey, I work in that hotel. So I told him, yesterday I met a guy and he told me that he works in your hotel. And I told him the story. He told me, no, 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 he doesn't work for us. Uh, he is a fraud. Uh, please don't trust these kind of guys anymore and i thought yes then completely it was a fraud honestly i like um, <clears throat> i was so excited to visit the temple the ganga uh, rama temple and uh, i was excited about the festival because i was reading about the festival itself i know it is a very important buddhist festival it represent uh, the coming of um, buddhism to the island and uh, I really loved to see the festival but even when we were there I was enjoying the temple yes it's beautiful there were many nice people but there was no signs of any festival like the regular uh, praise and uh, that guy used to he told me many lies many lies about uh, that festival so yeah I will just not let this one situation affect my love and my uh, passion for exploring Sri Lanka but I thought that many other tourists also should be careful uh, before falling for such thing and always check transportation apps to know the right fears. Thank you.